Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lindsay Urban. I'm the director of the Arts Institute of in Middlesex County, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all today to our second Read and Make Art in Storytime session. Today and all this month, we will be celebrating Black history, and we are joined by our friends at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. So before we get started, I have a few tips for viewing this program. We are recording this event and we'll post it to the county's webpage. If you wish to remain anonymous, please keep your camera off and please remain muted throughout this session. Please also set your screen to speaker view so that you can see everything correctly. Now it's my pleasure to introduce to you, Mr. Sean Hewitt, the Director of Youth Leadership at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. Good afternoon, everybody. It's wonderful to see you all here. I think it's super cool that I see Carmen has the snowy background, which is perfect for today. Um, I, I, as mentioned, my name is Sean Hewitt. I'm the Director of Youth Leadership at the Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. And for those that don't know, the Civic League is a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting African-American and minority groups in the Greater Brunswick community. I'm blessed to have a couple of my students here, one of which you met last week, Ms. Ayanna Slakum. And uh, our new friend today is Mr. Antonio Scott. Mr. Antonio Scott's been a part of our program since he was in seventh grade, and now he's a senior at South Plainfield High School. So he is going to read for us today, The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. So I'd like to introduce to you, Mr. Antonio Scott. Hey guys, good afternoon. My name is Antonio Scott. I am in 12th, uh, 12th grade at South Plainfield High School. Um, and today I'm going to be reading to you guys The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Ezra, <laughs> okay. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of that snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made an angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mount of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought, and thought and thought about him. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and he went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. I would like to introduce Ayanna Slakum, which you guys already know. She has an art project for you guys. Hello, everyone. So today we'll be making a collage I'm gonna show you the supplies that I'll be using today. So I'll be using scissors. 
you guys don't have to use big scissors like this. Um, I'm gonna use some glue. So while I'm showing you the supplies, you can either get your supplies or you can show me your supplies on the screen. If you don't have the supplies, that is okay as well. You could always do the project at an, a later date. Sarah's gonna insert, well, Miss Sarah, she's gonna insert the, um, the link for the PDF that has all the supplies on it. So you will also need some scraps. So here's my um, bag of scraps. I don't know where your, your guys' scraps are, but you can show me them. I'll be happy to see it. And you also need a sheet of paper. You can use any color sheet of paper, but oh. try not to use a white sheet of paper because we're gonna use white paper to um, make our put our snow on here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make the snow, okay? And then I have the white paper, like I told you, for to make our snow, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to get your supplies ready and, like, have a nice little setup. I have it set up on my easel so that you guys could see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And, yeah. If you guys have any questions, you could unmute yourself or raise your hand and ask. Yana, somebody is asking in the chat if we can use markers for the craft. Yeah, you can use whatever you want. You can make a picture as well, and then you could um, tear up the white paper to put on your picture and make snow like that. You don't have to use scraps if you don't want to. You can use whatever you have. And I'm going to get ready to show you guys how to make the snow. I hope everyone is ready. But if not, you could just always follow along because I'll be up here showing you guys. So you could take the paper. You can either use your scissors to cut and make snow or you could um, rip it up. I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to rip my paper in half so I could show you both ways. Okay, so the first method I'm going to show you is ripping it. So I rip my whole sheet of white paper in half. I have two halves, two pieces. So you can rip it like this and make little little squares or little pieces. It doesn't matter. We just have to make some kind of snow. Because the story we heard today was called a snowy day. And the method that we're doing today, Ezra Jack Keeks, which is the author of the book, he, he did um, the same method that we're doing to make his collage that we're, we're gonna create today. So does everybody understand how to do this method of tearing the paper? I could see you guys, you guys are doing a good job. So I'm gonna show you another method of cutting. You could just literally cut little squares. See? Um, what do you, what do you mean? Can you use white paper? Can you use white paper for the snow or can you use white paper to paste all your, um, pictures on? Picture? To put your picture on? I would prefer if you use a different paper, but if that's all you have, then you could use it, okay? Just so that it doesn't interfere with your picture, okay? And they have beautiful colors. You have beautiful colors. Can I see some? Oh, okay. All right. These colors. Oh, wow. I love the blue. Yeah. Who's my favorite color? Green. I have blue, green, purple, pink, and what is this? Light blue. Wow. Those are nice colors. What color are you going to use today? I'll use green. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll use green today. And yellow and green is my favorite colors. Oh, wow. And blue, and blue. Blue? Blue is mine as well. That's why I chose blue paper. Yeah. Okay, so after you're finished ripping up your paper or what you think is enough of the white paper to rip up, you can start to paste your pictures. 
So I'm gonna start to get my pictures and I'm gonna put them on my, my sheet of paper and I'm gonna glue them down. So you guys could start that whenever you are ready. And you guys don't have to rush to complete this. You can always finish it later. And don't forget, um, Miss Sarah, she's gonna put a link in the chat so where you guys can send her your pictures when you're done so that they can be posted on the .gov page. Did everybody have a good day at school today? Yes. That's good. I love this song. You like the song? Me too. It's very relaxing, right? Are we using this size or this size? Um, you can make it however you want. So whatever you think is the best way to put the um put your pictures on your paper. Okay. As you guys are finishing up your collages, you guys could um show me on the screen. Um, you don't have to use glue if you don't want to, or if you don't have it, you can just put the pictures in place and then maybe glue it at a later time. It's all up to you, whatever you want to do. This is your collage. And don't forget, as you are putting your pictures on, don't forget to add in your snow here and there, you know? What do we do? Oh, um, when you're, as you're putting your, pa your pictures down, so look, this is what I have so far on my collage. I have three pictures. So I'm going to add in some um, pieces of snow. I'm going to show you guys. Give me one second. So you see how my pictures are set up, right? And look, I'm going to take a, a piece of white paper, which is considered our snow, and I'm going to put a little dot of glue. And then I'm going to put it either on an empty, like, I think I'm going to put it on an empty space. So like right here where there's nothing there. And then look, you got a little piece of snow on the paper. Doesn't that look so cool? So you guys could do that. Is everyone enjoying the activity? Anyone want to share or show their, their collages that they have so far? I do. <laughs> oh, let me see. It's not done yet. I'm outlining it. Wow, that looks really nice, Aubrey. Thank you. I see yours too, Brian. It looks really nice. Are you going to add some um, pictures inside of it? Or are you just going to put a page of snow? Yes? Okay. Dorinda, do you want to share? I think your name is Katabi. Yes, uh, remember. What I got is I made a turtle glitch oh, wow. and snow to add on. Oh, I absolutely love That's it. That's nice. And I'm going to add some clouds because outside is cloudy. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. very accurate. I love it. Yeah, it's been snowy. It's a perfect time to read the snowy day and to do a snowy day craft because it's just been so snowy out. Valentina, do you want to share? Ooh, you're muted. Do you want to? Do you want to mute yourself? You don't have to if you don't want to. I made the cumin with some the eyes with. This. Oh, it's blue. I love it. Is that sparkly glue? Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, pretty. 
Jessica, I love. Well, I don't know if your name is Jessica, but I love your um picture. What do you say? This is. This is. What's Tyler. your name? I tell your name. What's your name? Hello. Oh, hello, Tyler. I like your picture. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you almost finished, or are you are you still going? Still going. Okay. Can anybody share share their photo with me? Oh wow. Is your name Lily? Yeah. I like your picture. Oh wow, Brian. I love that. You know what that looks like? It looks like the snow is falling on the house. It looks so cool. It, it's Bryn. Oh, Bryn. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else want to show me their picture? Okay, Valentina. That looks nice. Look up how many students are in the graduate the 2021 graduating class. At New Jersey High School. I'll say I'm making change from the world of high school for 2021. This is beautiful. I'm going to do it Let me see. Anyone else want to share their collages before we begin to wrap up? Or does anybody have any questions for Ms. Diana or Mr. Antonio? You guys are working so hard. Ooh, Sandy, I see your piece over there. That's beautiful. I love the James, did you, oh, James, did you want to go? Can we see your picture? Oh, wow. I, I like pink. That pink looks really nice. I love it, Tyler. Okay, everyone. So we're going to get ready to wrap up the, the art activity. You don't have to stop working on it, but we're going to move on to something next. You can still continue to work on it. And don't forget to show your, send your um, picture of your activity to Miss Sarah. She's going to drop the link in the chat. And yes, thank you all for participating and joining. Don't leave yet, but we're going to hand it over to Sarah. Hi, everyone. So thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Sarah Pereira, and I work for the Arts Institute of Middlesex County with Miss Lindsay and Miss Tracy. And I just want to thank you all so much for joining us today. I hope that you had fun. Um, I, I want to share with you the link for the .gov page that we are, we posted all of last week's pictures. Everybody who submitted their art, we posted all of their pictures on, we created a collage with all of your pieces. So um, there's a link for the .gov page. Um, so everybody, we, we highly encourage you to continue to submit your art to us as well as, you know, we've been getting a lot of a lot of snow, right? So if you're taking pictures of the snowy days, please feel free to Send us any pictures that you have of that you've taken of the snow or yourself in the snow. And if you've been writing anything, like any any writings that you've been doing of, of your that you've been doing about the snow, we would love to post those to the DocGov page. So you can send all of your submissions to my email, which I just sent into the chat. Um, I also sent everyone who was here today an email earlier today. So you know, just feel free to, to respond to that email or just send me an email. With your with your the pictures of your art and also pictures of the snow and any writing submissions that you may want to send us um so yeah i just want to thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back next week so i'm going to hand it over I to you oh. sure what's your name Rico. 
Hi. So what do you want to tell us what your art is? You want to show us? Ooh. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much. I That's love so it. Good. <laughs> I love the purple. Ooh, purple is the, my favorite color. I Thank love you. It. Mine too. So does anyone have any questions for the artist, the, the author, or I'm sorry, um, Antonio or Ayana or anything else? Does anyone have any questions? When will there be a, another Zoom? Very good question. May I ask, what's your name? Gavin. Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Well, next week we will feature um, a reading by Chelsea. Mr. Hewitt, what's Chelsea's last name? Vasquez. Vasquez. Um, for the reading of the Sweet and Sour Animal Book by Langston Hughes. So, the, so we're yeah. so excited. Have you come back? Same time, Wednesday, February 17th, and join us for another reading and a, an activity. And I also want to show mm -hmm. my poem. That's awesome, Kevin. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is so cool. Somebody drew that? Thank you. Can I see your picture again? Can you Give make me a sure snowman, like the book? Yeah, can you make sure mom takes a picture or dad takes a picture and send it over to us? Okay. Thank you very much. So um, just so you know, we're still here in case any parents have any questions or want to give some feedback. Um, we thank you so much for just giving us your time uh, to have this story time with us. And thank you so much for doing it. Yes? Um, I didn't draw my picture because I needed mom. Well, do you want to draw your picture later when mom comes and then you can send it to us? Right, Tiffany? Yeah. You promise? Okay, we have your we have your information. We'll follow up. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. No, Take thank care. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and we'll thank see you yeah. next week. Awesome. <laughs> Tiffany's got that ready whip. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Ooh. Oh, wait, before you guys leave, I want to take a screenshot of your art um, so we can, we can post it. If that's okay uh, with everybody. Hold, hold their art up, huh? Yes. Awesome. Are you able to see everyone on one yeah, screen? Some people actually left, so we actually all fit on the screen. Okay. Okay, Miss Lindsay, I see you. All right, everyone, you ready? One, smile. Ooh. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, wait, we have people coming in. Hold on. <laughs> the camera's on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you Thank next you. week. Bye, everybody. See you guys next week. <laughs>